One, and boom, we are back with another episode of uh, Socratic Gamers, here again with Vish and BJ. Uh, another weekly roundup episode. If you checked out our Dragon Ball episode, um, yeah, hope you like that one. We might play a few more uh, duel games in the future, Yeah, because I did enjoy that one. But so uh, this is the show where we uh, take a few things from the week, typically five, and just analyze them cool things that maybe you did not or did know about and uh yeah so the first thing you want to go first with me well you can start all right stem cells we are in the future so um if you checked out uh joe rogan's episode with mel gibson so first of all when i saw like mel gibson on there i was like oh man like this is uh this is like you've made it like you know you you've actually got like a movie star celebrity blah, blah blah and then but i saw like a doctor on there so i was like oh it's like Mel Gibson coming out about like his alcoholism or something like what's going on you know <laughs> that's what I thought it was about I thought he brought his like addiction coach or something that's how you know you have like a negative perception or stereotype surrounding that guy but um love his movies um Passion Passion of the Christ is a great movie <laughs> best movie of all you know that was the number one grossing R-rated movie of all time uh all time yeah and then the next one was uh Deadpool Oh, that's uh, oh for the R-rated section. For R-rated, for R-rated oh, section. Right, right, so right, the right. most the most grossing R-rated movie of all time is uh, Passion of the Christ. Mm-hmm. Uh, love that whipping scene. <laughs> ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Anyway, so I think I watched so, that at your house. Yeah, yeah, that was craziness, craziness. So uh, well, what? Yeah, no. Uh, so uh, basically, it didn't turn out to be any of the things I thought, and it turned out to be about stem cells. So the whole idea is that his dad, <laughs> I know it's crazy, eh? his dad um, was like 90, he had like, he's never been to the doctor, had a bunch of like uh, ailments, problems, and then he flew him out to Panama, got him stem cell, uh, stem cell uh, IVs, I believe, and then he was like totally healed. So like, uh, okay, so one of the things that most people say is like, is stem cells made out of um, embryonic stuff, right? Yeah. That's what everyone assumes. Uh, but actually... Uh, embryo stem cells you're saying have a higher rate because they want to become babies like that's what the stem cells yeah. are for they end up becoming tumors so like nine if, if you get even one stem cell from an embryo into the thing there's like a high chance of it becoming a tumor in your body right so what they did is I don't know what what the, I know that there's another one where they take like your your bone and they create stem cells out of your bones and yeah, then your bone marrow right yeah bone marrow and then they shoot that back into you and um, Joe Rogan said like he had that done. I know UFC fighters had that done, but uh, this guy says that there's a different type of stem cell. I, I don't remember what it was, um, but yeah. So like you can either shoot it into a spot, and uh, it it works like a charm, you mm-hmm. know, or you can IV it. The only problem is it hurts. Yeah, it hurts if you. Well, allegedly it hurts if you shoot it into like your shoulder, which is a lot of people do. They have like shoulder surgery, uh, mm-hmm. shoulder repair. Uh, yeah. But if you IV it, I don't know if it hurts, but it makes you feel sick for a couple of days. And he was saying how like um, uh, that's like your your immune system like defending itself as if it were the flu, but then you heal up afterwards. Yeah. So my question is, would you trust in the stem cell? Yeah, if there's enough research. Why not? Right. Yeah. Ex- exactly. But I don't know what kind of like stem cells we're talking about here, because like I was talking to my mom about this one. I was like, "Oh, like just get some stem cells." And she's like, "There's somebody in the ICU right now that she's treating who like uh, rejected the stem cells." I don't mm-hmm. know if it's the same kind of stem cells, but like she's rejecting it. And she's going through like some um, some sickness right now. Right. I mean, yeah. It's not a. It's be all cure for everyone. It, I don't think it works like that. Yeah. Hundred percent. Yeah. Um, it depends on the individual, I guess. I guess, yeah, yeah, but, like, there's been no... Or maybe it's, like, the type of person who did the stem cells for you because, like, she didn't go to Panama, I don't think. I think yeah, she did, like, yeah, the legal Because there are also so many different kinds of variances, right? Of, yeah, that's of stem true. Cells, so we don't know which one could work for her. You yeah. You know what I mean? Some, some were uh, illegal, right? You can't do those. That's true, too. That's actually very true, too. But what, what I think the, um, the thing that was most shocking about this whole stem cell thing is that if you... Um, in my continuous pursuit of trying to read the Bible, mm-hmm. um, they have these things like where it's like uh, old ages. Yeah. Like Moses lived till he was like 150 or something. Mm-hmm. And like, I think it was like Adam lived till he was, or Abraham lived till he was like 400 something. And it's like maybe with stem cells, you can actually achieve that. You know what I mean? Because if it's only, 
so the way he explained it is your your cells regenerate themselves over time, right? So if you have an injury, like you get a cut, your cells are gonna regenerate to heal it, right? right? But as we age, we get less and less effective of doing that over time. Mm -hmm. But if you inject new stem cells, you don't even, there's nothing that goes on. Like if the, if the stem cell just touches your stem cells, it, it automatically mutates them to become like more young and healthier. Right. So that's what they do. So it's like, even though, so like there's no like, basically the science behind it on a dumbed down level is like, um, it just allows you to regenerate cells faster mm -hmm. like you would have if you were younger. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah so yeah. like, uh, so yeah, I, I don't know. Like maybe that is the future because like Mel Gibson's dad was 90 and he said like he was like even better than when he started. Like, uh, is, uh, they say it's like good for autoimmune disease. Uh, it's good for eyesight. Um, just a bunch of stuff. Mm -hmm. And like uh, I know that back in the day there were there were people who would like uh, this is pretty more like a pretty uh, gruesome story, but like they would kill younger uh, children and then drink their blood. Right. And although that sounded like like hocus pocus, like vampire stuff, uh, what they found is if they if they IV the blood of a young mouse into an old mouse, the old mouse starts acting younger, and vice versa. If you mm -hmm. IV the old the blood of an old mouse into a young mouse, they start acting older. So like maybe there is something to maybe you just need an oil change once in a while. You know what I mean? <laughs> maybe. Right. It's like if the body is like a machine. Um, I was reading in Sapiens that they're saying. Well, it makes sense because the body does break down. Exactly. Yeah. And then if you're putting in a new type of fuel that's like young. Uh huh. Still, like, a lot of energy in it. Yeah, exactly. It might boost you up. Yeah, ex exactly, exactly. There's this thing in uh, the book Sapiens. Um, you know, they're, like, mortal. Like, mortal means you're going to die. Mm -hmm. uh, what we are slowly progressing towards because of science is we're becoming amortal. Not immortal. Doesn't mean we can't die. Amortal just means, like, um, you, you, can slow, you can, like, patch up right. death. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, through technology, through, like this new um this new stem cell stuff you mm -hmm. know what i mean like dying is not going to be a real problem in the future well no it's gonna be a problem it's not going to be an end result right you know but the only thing i'm wondering though is like is that even good for the human race like there's definitely gonna be some one child policies and like you know what i mean going on <laughs> right because like you can't sustain we can hardly sustain life yeah yeah, yeah. well wasn't that like a viral? If you look at like oh, the way a virus is, it goes from host to host. It's kind of like what we're doing, like Mars and stuff. Mm -hmm. I know people say that all the time, like humans are a virus, but like we're actually making ourselves out to be that. But like, you know, cancer is too, right? What is cancer? It's your own cells. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, we all have cancer cells. Yeah, they don't get turned on until we're like, uh, we're compromised. Or something triggers something. Yeah, like yeah, that, yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, that's interesting. So we could, we're, you know, we were born of the earth. Yeah, to destroy for sure. Her, who knows? For sure, but I, I guess it all comes down to um, it all comes down to like your perspective and your mindset. So it's like you could be the virus, or you can be the antibody. Because mm -hmm. viruses and antibodies are do the exact they they multiply the same way, yeah, right? Yeah. But it's just one's doing good, one's doing bad, which is a great segue into my next topic, which is Molly's game. So, uh, interestingly, uh, if you've seen the movie, Molly's game is about a girl who uh, organized a high-stakes poker game with all these celebrities. And um, one, of the, one of the interesting points is, like, we look at celebrities like gods a lot, mm -hmm. but then when you, when you hear stories about them as being human, it's like, oh, I didn't know they were jerks, you know? I didn't know that they were, you know, well, we are, they yeah, fears. We are, yeah, like, well, we're getting their PR version, right? Exactly, exactly. And, and what, what I'm beginning to realize is, like, um, is like I'm not, not not me personally, but like I think what we're beginning to see as a whole is that because of social media, we're we're humanizing our celebrities, you mm -hmm. know. Um, but like I feel like you and I have never really had that problem though of like uh, deifying a person, right? You know, because we've seen we've been to shows, we've like seen celebrities and stuff, we met them, yeah. But it's like they they just seem like people, yeah. you know. Uh, I wonder what the mindset is there of like people when they. It's almost like a god complex, you know? Yeah, it's like I've been when, told... you, when you look up to them, it becomes that level, right? Like, you want to, you think, and if you put a persona on them being them as great, yeah. then that's the problem. Yeah, for sure, actually. Yeah, yeah, totally. Right, and totally. That's, that's where it 
I think that's where that happens, where you, God complex. Or right, right, right. Stuff. But there, there is a differentiator, though. Like, I think that, um, I think that we can still look at people as different upon the work that they do. I think my problem is when you don't know anything about the person. Like, you know, like, he's done movies and stuff. Yeah, yeah. But, like, you don't know anything about him as a person, you know? Yeah. If, so, like, um, so, like, when, when we – it was you and I who went to Warped Tour, right? Yeah. We went to Warped Tour together. Uh, so we went to Warped Tour, and we met a couple of bands that I, I was personally into. And, like, I was just like, oh, I really like your music. Mm-hmm. But, like, as a person, I don't know you. So I was right. like, I'm not going to say you're awesome. I just – I'm like, you make good music, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's sweet. Well, yeah, yeah. Like, keep it up, you know? We don't know how they are in personal life. Those, exactly, exactly. That shouldn't matter. Exactly, exactly. But then you, you go around, and then – because at Warped Tour, you get to meet your, band, your favorite yeah, yeah, band yeah, yeah. members. Yeah. And you see, like, all these, like – like young girls crying I'm like oh my god I love you it's like you know when you see like a thing in like the movie celebrities like I love you marry me mm-hmm. and the celebrity's like I don't even know you bro <laughs> like what if what if a random came up to you on the subway and was like I love you marry me you'd be like uh right, thanks right, right. bro yeah. <laughs> you know um, yeah that's just weird it's, it's interesting uh, because uh, if you watch the so like if you if you it's interesting to see from their perspective. So, like, yeah. Molly's game is a good look into what it's like to be surrounded by these kinds of people, right? Mm-hmm. And um, uh, also watching documentaries. So, like, Conor McGregor's documentary, uh, when I watched it, it was so funny because, like, there's this one scene where he's like, yo, check this out. And he was reading an email to the people in the documentary about how this girl's like, I've been watching you for a while. I know we'd have amazing kids. I love you so much, blah, blah, blah. And he was, like, laughing. He's like, all right, this girl's <laughs> crazy. She's never getting a response ever. <laughs> Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's like, but from that girl's perspective, she's like, I'm, I'm definitely going to win him over one day with my truth. You know? And it's like, <laughs> but you don't actually know Connor. Right, right, right. You know? Like, you know the persona of Connor. Yeah. But you don't know Connor, like, when he's sick, when he's sad. No. When he's like, you only know him when, like, from what you see. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. So I think that's a, that's a big, that's what I liked about Molly's game in that it, like, it allowed you to look into a world of a girl who was a normal girl. Yeah. But well, she was like she's, she's so, abnormal, I guess you'd say, because yeah. she was like an Olympic medalist and stuff. Mm-hmm. But like you get to see it from a pers- the perspective of a normal-ish person, not in that world, and then yeah. enter into that world and then see the way things actually operate. You mm-hmm. know, uh, they're saying like a lot of, but I mean like naturally that would happen. You know, they're like oh the cabal of like uh, societies, yeah, like uh, the Roth Rothschilds and like the Bilderberg groups and stuff. Yeah, you know, but it's like. That would not – you would naturally collude with one another if you knew one another. You know what I mean? Like yeah. there's a higher probability of me working with you if I know you. So at these at these poker games, they'd form alliances and stuff. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know, because like you're playing with them all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? That it's like – but then like – then you get these people who are on the outside of that that are like, oh, like it's all a conspiracy and stuff. But is it is it really a conspiracy or is it just like you're not in that circle, you know? Because like technically – so like – um like yeah. if I were to look at Joe Rogan's podcast with Eddie Bravo and all these people, yeah. and I'm like, oh, they're a conspiracy because they're not talking to me. It's not right. really a conspiracy. They just don't talk to me because we're not a part of the same world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah. you got to think of it like that for bankers too, I think. Yeah. You know, it's like, it's like, oh, how come the bankers get to rule the world? Well, because they've been doing it for quite some time and they know how it operates. You know, you have a, you have a very shallow perspective of a scenario. But no, yeah, been it's not like they – yeah, you're in that world. It's not like they're trying to be bad. It's just what they've been used to. Yeah, exa- yeah, that's that's a good point, actually. That's right. a good point. Actually, wait, uh, and to put a BJJ perspective on this, um, heel hooks, like leg locks, yeah. were frowned upon for so many years, but now they're making a uh, resurgence, right? Mm-hmm. Does it mean that the people that didn't know about heel hooks were wrong? Right. It's like, no, no it's just that's what they've been grown up doing. Yeah, yeah. To look at heel hooks like they're wrong. But then now it's like, oh, but now everyone's using it. It's like it just takes time to change things, you know? You need yeah. to overall perspective. How do you feel about voting? Just a side, I'm just curious about that. Like, what do you mean, regular? Like, like, like do you think that there should be a, uh, a quiz to vote? Because I heard this, uh, I, was, I was watching the uh, FCC one, the Eddie Wong one. The mm-hmm. Joe Rogan, Eddie Wong, and the yeah. FCC. Is it FCC? The, the person, yeah. Yeah, so she was saying, like, uh, Joe's like, oh, there should be, like, a quiz that you say. Like, before you vote for the guy, you have to say what his policies are. You know, oh, explain right, what they right, are. Right. It's like, so it's like you've well thought this out. And I was like, I actually agree with that. But the FCC girl's like, no, you, that goes against the Constitution, blah, you, blah, blah. You mean the politician, or are you talking about? No, so, like, if you are going to vote for a candidate, before you can vote, you have to, like, write what their policies are. Like, right, you have to what know their what policies like, are? Like, what they're going for. Oh, I see, I see. I see. You know, it, like, so it shows you've done your homework. 
No, uh, people don't have time for all that, man. But then it's like it's like then we're so skewed. It's like we're being blind leading the blind. Well, you know? that's the that's the it's job. Pop- that's when it becomes a popularity contest because but, you don't really know. No, that's the job of the press, right? To educate. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah but it's like, but if you before you voted, you just said like, uh, like. Like, even one question, you know? Like, what do you like about this person's policy? Mm-hmm. You know, and then, like... I think generally people know at least one. At least one policy would be good, you know? Yeah. Like, as, least, as long as you're pulling for it. But I know? think generally people do know one, at least. Maybe. Unless they are just following what their parents are doing, but then they're still young. I did that young. when I was younger. When I was, like, when I just turned 18 and you were allowed to vote, I yeah. did not care. My mom was just like, vote for this person. Like, okay. Oh. Well, no, I didn't do that. Yeah, but see, but see, but, like you're you're doing but, you're taking the initiative. I'm thinking like I don't really care about this. this yeah, but is, like, I understand that at day. an age perspective. But it does change when you are uh, growing, like when you are you know own a home. These are the problems you want. to That's true. Face. That's very true too. So you do That's know some true, things, too. or 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 an outlier. So the only person that I actually can say that I I actually willfully voted for yeah. was uh, Trudeau. Right. Because it was like you know his his uh, liberal policies. I was like, oh, that's cool. Yeah, most so of his liberal like, policies. There's a lot of problems with it now. <laughs> yeah, but whatever. It was a good but dream. Again, it was yeah, a good dream. Of course, of course. Like, you know, course. you gotta vote for the dreamer, you know, yeah. what you believe in. But, like, before that, I was just like, I don't really care about, like, nobody's mm-hmm. really saying anything worthwhile, you know? Yeah. But, yeah. yeah. Uh, secret uh, societies. But could, all right, so secret societies. Could you say that we're not a secret society? Um, Everything's a secret society, right? It's just a club that you're not a part of. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like, can I, can somebody come into our apartment and join this conversation? Right. No. Yeah, I guess. No. I guess you, if, no, 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 I mean. <laughs> you know, it's like, I, I, mean, I would not, I, I would mean, not I'm feel agreeing with the, I'm, Yeah, yeah, no, 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 I'm agreeing with the concept of being society. a secret society. So it's like, if you're, so then you get labeled a secret society. The in society. crowd. Uh, the in crowd, crowd, yeah. But it's like, but this, this is the way I see it. It's like, just go, go form your own thing, bro. Why do you need me to... But that's why it's like deregulation. It's like we should have smaller forms of government, I think. Uh, it depends on what it is. Like, what, what do you mean? Oh, yeah, I get what you're saying. Like, like on giant policy issues, we should still have federal government, but I think like um, like municipal government, yeah. even a municipal government is like, it's still hard for them to see what's going on everywhere, you know, because GTA is very big, right? So like different mm-hmm. sectors should have different... I kind of do. There are divisions, right? I mean, but can you can you have different sections. policies in different areas? Yeah, there's certain. Yeah, there's differences in municipal policies are different per municipality. Right, but but like then uh, there's also the, the like then are, have are, the federal are the laws are the laws in downtown Toronto different than Port Union? Uh, well, who are making federal laws are different, right? Right, no, no, but what I'm saying municipal is like, laws is more like uh, bylaws, those sort of things, in that place. Right, 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 right. Yeah, 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 I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Um, but like, I think the way um, but federal laws cover those sort of things. I think what you're talking about. No, no, but I, I mean like like general stuff. You know, like uh, like I think things that directly affect a um, an area, like if downtown Toronto, should not be. Uh, they should be s- different than in like yeah, the, the, the municipalities do that. Oh, there is actual differentiation. I think so. We should look into that. I don't think there are. Yeah. No, no. I I understand like Toronto and Pickering, but but Port Union is a part of Toronto, but they're so different. So I'm saying within a municipality, you can still have multiple different. Yeah, within sectors. that, yeah, there are. Really? Wow. There are smaller governments in that. Well, educating me on that. Really, I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> But how how far reaching are they? Like what? Uh, they are. They have different sections. It's not like GTA only. Okay. Yeah. They're within that. They're smaller sections. And they can control up to what though? About they, like, they can add into what like they need to do within their community. Oh really? Yeah. There, some control is there. Oh okay. Uh, I don't know like the level. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Right of power, but uh-huh. yeah, there is some representation is there like is it final word for the municipality so like, oh, like I don't know the ins and outs yeah, that's what I'm saying much. it's like it's yeah. like you can still be vetoed by somebody higher up than you but what I'm saying they should have governing ability within their zone mm-hmm. because like they know what's going on you know I guess 
I don't know too much about Canadian law. But, but then you're breaking it down way too much. It's like, I can see why that would not be a good thing. You know? Well, this... I don't know. What does it mean by smaller government, then? You know what I mean? Like, no, no, I, I know. It's just too much to control. Like, we're doing the best we can with what we have, is what I'm saying right of now. Of course. Like, Everything is man-made. Yeah, exactly, exactly. It's like, it's like, although we complain, although I'm even making this criticism, ultimately, I don't know enough to... Like, because yeah, yeah, yeah. it would be, it would be like, it's like a domino effect. You change mm-hmm. one thing and then everything changes, mm-hmm. you know? So like, I, I just trust that the people who are interested enough yeah. to focus on those laws are focusing right. on them correctly. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. We do have a little bit better than, than the United States. That's true. So. Yeah. Well, yeah. Give us that. <laughs> speaking of the United States. Uh, speaking of the United States. So the things that I had was. Uh, Actually, Molly's game was about the United States too. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, Well, that that I mean that connects to another celebrity, which is Aziz, but not part of Molly's game. Oh, this is a good one. This is a good one. Yes, this is (laughs) a very good one. Sorry. Yep, yep. This is known as you know Parks and Rec. I don't know what else. Oh, the Netflix show. Yeah. Okay. Master of None. I don't watch any of those. Uh, they're really good. Uh, I I don't know about Parks and Rec, but I did really like um, Master of None. Master of None. Okay. So. Over this week. Wait, is he a jack of all trades? Is that why they called it Master of None? Fuck, I don't know, man. I didn't pay attention to all that. Jack of all trades, Master of None. Does he do I, a I bunch just, of stuff? I just I watched it for the comedy. Oh, okay, okay. All right, continue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are right. you saying? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so, oh, uh, basically, he was called on us from somebody with an anon like she's anonymous, okay. using the n- pseudonym in that article as Grace. Okay. 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 Uh, and then uh, she's calling what she experienced a sexual assault. Okay. And that's a pretty big allegation, right? Like, yeah, oh, yeah. sexual especially assault. Especially with like the Harvey Weinstein stuff uh, going on. Especially with what's going on, and especially that those are the reasons why it also comes yeah. up, right? Uh-huh, uh-huh. People have more of a mm, like non-fear issue of coming out with their experiences now, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Which oh, is, yeah, yeah. Which is a good. Everyone's th- suddenly empowered. Yeah. Which is a good thing in in, in some way. Yeah. But then it can also get out of, you know, if, if get out of control. You have to know what what, what it means, right? Like what yeah. is this what mean the limitations are and stuff. Exactly. Like, uh, what I think would happen to Aziz is not the same as Harvey Weinstein. Okay. Yeah. All right. So then I'll get, I'll get to the story. So, uh, basically, uh, after their date, they had a date, and like, there's this. I don't know why she brings this up too. It kind of sounds weird. Like, uh. We had we went on a date. We were drinking white wine. He ordered white wine. I wanted red wine. But she's thinking this. Why don't you just say you wanted red wine? That's weird. First off, and wait, wait. She she said that was one of the negativities that were brought. Towards she's just her? saying that. I don't know. If, if, uh, I, maybe maybe. That's a little weird. I don't think I don't. Think, That's more like a spoiled. But it's rat not. It's not. It's not. Yes, but I I don't think it's it's. It's that big even to her, but I don't know why she brings it up. It just kind of makes it sound weird. Oh, right? it, it, it's setting the tone for the character. Yeah, but it's it's just kind of weird. Anyway, so uh, she's like, he's inconsiderate, <laughs> blah, blah blah, you know. So they go to his house after the date. Um, they're doing, you know, the kissing and, and all that normal stuff. Okay. And then, I guess, Aziz thought they're gonna do this, uh, go into intercourse, right? Oh yeah, I like the way he like <laughs> completely scientifically said it. Uh, yeah, I don't know why I'm doing that. Go home base. Let's just make it. Uh, let's just yeah. Anyway, so, but then. She was saying that she was giving off nonverbal cues and, like, verbal cues in the sense of, like, mumbling. Uh, Wait, hold mumbling on. Mumbling of not wanting to have sex. Wait, okay, so they're making out. Yeah. Okay, that's already kind of like, oh, it, it, from uh, Aziz's perspective, he's like, oh, okay, this is, going, this is going my way. Right. Okay, and the mumble could be uh, like, mistaken I think she, for a moan. Yeah, and then so I think it's she's like, trying to stop kissing him, but, like... But well, still, like, like I, I don't know what that do. means. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, so if you're already making out, it's like, well, you've already kind of, you've already kind of progr- Like, I could see his perspective on that one. He's like, oh, this is going my way. Yeah. No, but but still, that, I understand that that guy's point of view too. There there is an issue with only thinking that, right? But that's fine. That's fine. What's going my way? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like I. I there's okay. parts of the story that's okay, but then there's like quick, quick things pause, that don't quick make pause. sense. I think I think what we tend to forget in this um, in this like societally driven, like uh, good natured 
Me Too world is that like, what is the purpose of whining and dining you? What is the purpose of kissing you? Procreation. So like that's that's built into our DNA. Right. right. So it's like, you know, immediately you're already kind of going for it. you're giving Aziz the signals of procreation, mm -hmm. and he's thinking, oh, I get to perform an animalistic thing that. You know, what I mean, it's like, like, how are you just gonna stop midway if you're already into it? Why don't right. you just tell him, no, I'm not into you? Yeah, and she was giving nonverbal cues. So how does he like, understand nonverbal cues? Right, that's my my issue with. Right, that. but but why'd you go back to his house? That's uh, a that's a signal cue. That's an action cue. You know. Uh. Sure. Um, it's like like at the end of the day, people forget. Like they. No, no, they, no, no. You you can you can go to the house, but you can tell that I'm I don't want this. We can hang out. We can just chill or you know watch something, whatever, right? So she slipped and fell on his lips. No, that's a, no, no, no. What I'm saying is that's what you should do if yeah. you don't want that stuff. If you're doing this, it is giving off. That's what I'm saying. So she's cues. like, she's yeah. like, I'm giving nonverbal cues with my verbal. Oh no, I'm giving nonverbal cues yeah, like, with my action cues. It's like <laughs> it's so freaking confusing. Exactly, exactly, exactly. It's just, it's just confusing to, to a guy. I don't. How would how would he know that? Yeah. Just tell them if you don't want to do it <laughs> yeah, yeah and anyway you, you know, so wait, 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 another quick pause a lot of people are like oh you know it's not just all about procreation that's all about love but i'm like no that's our driving force yeah like we, we have this is animal, genetically in us yeah so it's like you time. can't argue that you know so like aziz is definitely gonna be thinking that mm -hmm. subconsciously mm -hmm. or consciously the girl's like she's she probably just as upset and started all this you know all right we're trying to get some money some fame <laughs> attention but she's anonymous, so we don't know. So it doesn't work like that, right? And then two years later, I was the girl. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Anyways, or hoping that this might turn out good for her. I, I, again, I don't want to say And if it this. turns good, if she becomes a then part of the movement, reveal then she'll reveal herself. Yeah, right, she, is, yeah. it's just playing it safe, yo. You're, <laughs> you're like swinging at, like you're swinging for the fences. Right. Yeah. You know? Okay, okay, okay. So, <laughs> I, and, and then she ends up saying, I don't want to do it. Uh, okay. And then as he's like, oh, okay. He stopped. He complied. And so we, he said, "Oh, okay." No, I, I'm just saying. No, 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 I, no, no. I'm, I'm, oh, no, I'm, that's what I'm saying. He's like, he said, "Oh, okay." It's like if he stopped, it's like, "Okay, he complied." Like what? Why are you upset? Yeah, hold on. Yeah, I know, I know, oh, I know. More, more exactly, stuff, more exactly. Stuff. No, right, no, cool, cool. Was he like, "You want to uh, watch a movie?" So then, like, she goes to the washroom. I don't know. If she's like, anyways, she comes back. She's like, "I don't want to feel forced because it's." Yeah, because I'll hate you, and I'd rather not hate you. Hate you? <laughs> yeah. Okay, I would have been like, this bitch is crazy. Get out my face. <laughs> like, what? Okay, so, uh, and then, the, you, you know and then funny? she stays. Yeah, she stays yeah, yeah. and hangs out at the couch. Why? First off. And then and then she thinks in her head. Powerful. No, no, and then she thinks in her head. Um... I was hoping that he might rub my back or play with my hair, uh, something to calm me down. Oh my god. This is, uh. And then. This is the definition of high maintenance. And yeah. then, and then she. she uh, okay, so why, I, why are you staying? If it's not a good day, this is what it is. It's not a sexual assault, this is a bad day. Mm -hmm. Just leave. Yeah, for sure. And then. After all that, then she then he he calls her the cab, and oh. she leaves. And then she like, she then texted him, or Aziz texted her. He like he thought he had a good time. Uh huh. Okay. And then she said, "I didn't. I was crying on the cab home." Oh my god! Yeah, honestly. And then he he said, he he apologized. Oh, I didn't know you felt like this. I'm sorry. I'm paraphrasing, of course. Yeah, yeah. that's why you have to always screenshot your conversations with crazy people. <laughs> no, no, she did. She Blackness. had that conversation. That's what she showed to the person that wrote the article. I'm saying Aziz should definitely do this. No, no, but none of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like none of this. Uh, what she, in her own story, it doesn't sound like sexual assault. Yeah, no, it doesn't. It sounds like crying for attention. I mean, it's. <laughs> it's just. I, I, I think we need to understand vocabulary here. What, what does sexual assault mean? That's true. Yeah. Because you showing as anonymous, so we don't know who you are, and basically affecting his career. Yeah, that's true too. Yeah. For something that many people think is not a real sexual assault. 
Yeah, it's, it's true. It's a pretty it's harsh term to use on somebody yeah, true. when they aren't doing that. Uh, do you, there's this thing in, um, oh, I forgot what the exact term was. It was in marketing. It's like uh, false, false source bias or something like that. So you can say something negative mm-hmm. about something like, um, like Oprah Winfrey killed 100 people. Right? right. And then even if it's not real, if it turns out not to be real, if you ask somebody like 10 days later, it's like, did you hear the thing about Oprah Winfrey? And they'll be like, yeah, yeah, she killed someone, right? It's like you still hold on to the yeah, 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 the yeah. truth yeah. of it, even though it's not of a really... false, yeah, false story. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I think that's that's the real danger here, you know, that like now people are just gonna associate him with a uh, uh, freaking sexual assault, yeah. or they could just associate him with being like around crazy people. Yeah, that was just my gripe with the story. I, 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 it, the story itself, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. itself shows that it's not. It's, it's what, funny what how it when you're a celebrity now, so like let's say you're a regular Joe Schmo at a local high school and this thing happened. Yeah. This, what, nobody really would have cared. Even if the principal got involved, it wouldn't have mattered so much. But when you're a celebrity and like your name is on the line, you have to really think twice before you do yeah. anything. You this, know is, what I mean? this is it's a new generation that. for them now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With... it's like anybody could say anything. Yeah. And the second you get any vibes, this is like a tip for like, well, I mean what tip, like I mm-hmm. don't know anything, but... Um, like I would say that if you're if you're like famous or near the public domain, always yeah. like just as soon as it feels weird, just get out. You mm-hmm. know, vibes never lie, and like look what happened. You know. Yeah, uh, it's anyway. That was that was. I just, I just thought that was all wrong. Everything was wrong in that story. Could you blame Aziz at all for anything? Like you know, just no. I'm not saying he's he's at fault for anything. I'm saying like. Um, there's always two sides to a story. Yeah, but we're right? only getting her side, right? Yeah, in, and her side's wrong. <laughs> it's like it's evidently wrong. Well, so. in her side, uh, it it doesn't sound like what she's claiming it to be. That's, no, no, yeah, one hundred percent. But like, do you think like Aziz in any way is this like an open and shut case where it's like, no, she's wrong, or is it like, oh, well, you know, he could have done something, but she didn't say that. No, no I mean Aziz himself. Like, from a third-party perspective, we're analyzing it now. Yeah. So it's like, do you think Aziz could have done something to, like, maybe, like, maybe he should have, like... But but you're complying, though, with a lot of those actions. You could have said no from the beginning. Yeah, I agree with you. So so how does he know? I can't read yeah, your mind. Exactly, exactly. So I, I would also agree that there's nothing you can say Aziz should have done. This is, like, an open-shut case. Yeah. Like, there's, like, there's some ones where you're like, oh, well, I guess he could have done this, right. you know? But in this scenario, it's like, no, I don't see anything he could have done. Yeah. You know, except, you know, maybe be less attractive. I think the lesson here is, you know, nonverbal communication is not communication. That's true. Well, and I that's don't. True. You can't understand that. It's not clear. Let's that's, just say yeah, it's not true. clear. That's very true. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. Just don't do that. You know, if you're really in a bad situation, leave. You know, I think the word is no. Uh, Stop. I, I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why I should stay on the couch. That's. Yeah, and also, the couch is like a very suggestive place as well. So it's like he's probably like, I still have a chance. That's what he's thinking. I think so. Yeah, maybe. You know, in like, yeah. why would you stay on the couch? And then if you were to rub, I mean, her like, back also, why her, would you stay after that? One hundred percent. Yeah, but if you if you were to, if she said, oh, I was hoping he'd rub my back and brush my hair, that's also a signal of being like, oh, it's back on. No, 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 no. She was thinking that. No, no, I, I know, I yeah, know. Yeah. But like, oh, but, but, if yeah, she yeah, had yeah, said yeah. it, it's like that's also you know, like you're kind of back on. You know, it's going on. Just don't touch me if you don't want to be around me. You know? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Cool. So what else you got? Uh, so this then, yeah, now it's going back to technology. Like hey, said, technology. Another big issue is to uh, small YouTubers. Oh, new, interesting. New, okay. There's a new criteria now to get um, monetized. All right, so I know for monetization so far, you need to have uh, 100,000, no, 10,000 views. Yeah. And uh, total over, channel views, yeah. And at least over 100 subscribers. Yeah. Okay, so is there some new stuff? Yes. Okay, so what? So you need. Uh, that was prior to me finding out about this. Yeah, I didn't tell you anything. Just yeah, we don't so really talk about these here. topics. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> during the week, we kind of do. Like, like, hey, did you hear about that? And it's like, oh, save it for the podcast. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you need 
four thousand hours of watch time. Oh my! Get out of my within, face! Within the get past twelve months, face. get out of my within face! Within the past twelve months, and you need to have one thousand subs. One thousand subs? Yeah. Get out of my face! Get out of my face! This is dumb now. No, I see. In some ways, I understand. No, because they don't want to be writing like a million checks. I get it. It's not about writing a million checks. And there's also so, only so much amount of ads that they can spread out. Okay. Even sometimes, this is what Peter Pie was saying, that um, uh, even though it's ad like appropriate, uh -huh. sometimes ads don't show up because they don't have enough ads to go around also. And that's true too, yeah. Um, then the other thing, it, 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 does it hurt? Um, uh, young or not young, small uh, channels. I think it does. Uh huh. Uh, but these are the rules that they're making. Is this is? Yeah, I, I get it. I get it. You play by the rules. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These, I mean, it's a corporation, right? Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, I agree with them. They set the rules. You're making your content. Yeah, you you're using the platform. You, yeah. like, just don't so use the platform. I, I think if you're a small channel. Uh, but see, all right. So this is the funny part. So like, there's always like the business mentality. It's it's almost like the yin and yang of life, right? Mm -hmm. Um. Like, you always have two diverging viewpoints that are always going to come at odds with one another. There's, there's the practical business aspect, right? Which what we're saying right now, it's like, yeah, yeah they're right. Yeah. And then there's the, there, there's the, like, the um, altruistic perspective. The, uh, what do you call those people when they have, like, an idealistic perspective? Right. Right, where it's like, oh, this is wrong. But it's like, it's really not wrong. <laughs> like, my, my knee-jerk reaction is like, oh, that sucks. But yeah, at the end of the day, it's like, you got to accept it because this is the world. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, you really can't do anything about that. Anyways, it Except doesn't get take... Except get 1,000 subs and 4,000 hours of watching. Yeah, so it doesn't take effect, I think, until February 20th. Oh, okay. And then you'll still have some leeway to, to get So them. are they just going to cancel all of the... Um, is it, like, proactive or... Uh, is it, like, ongoing or is it retroactive? What do you mean? Like, uh, uh, do they go back and fix it? So, like, basically, uh, I have a custom URL... Uh, for my YouTube channel. Yeah, I don't think they were changing those things. No, I no, know, no, but like, I, I'm monetizable, even though I'm not following their standards. Uh, so your monetization will stop. Oh, if so you, you don't meet even, these criteria. You won't even see ads then. Yeah. Oh, that's good. So I don't have to go back and be like, uh, unadd this one, unadd this no, one. No, 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 no. Ads just won't show up on those. Videos. Oh, that's perfect. No, that's great. Yeah, yeah that's awesome. Yeah. So, if you can meet uh, those, you know, if you can meet those. Criteria. Four thousand hours of watch time is a little ridiculous. See, it's a little hard for... Um, Within the past year or how long? 12 months, yeah. 4,000 hours. How many hours is that? 4,000 divided by 12? Hold on. Where's my, where's my phone? Let me go find this. 12 months? You mean per yeah, month four, do you want to four, do? Yeah, how much do you... All Check, right. Check that so out. So let's... All the math people have listened to this. They're like, it's this number. So 4,000 divided by 12 is 300 hours of watch time. Okay? Divide that by 30... Days, so that's eleven hours of watching a day. Right. That's eleven hours of watching a day. Yeah. <laughs> For a whole year. Yeah. Okay. That's yeah. that's eleven hours yeah, 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 yeah. of watching a day. We have twenty four hours in a day. <laughs> so you gotta okay. have multiple people watching. You have twenty four hours. This, oh, so, wait, wait, wait. Twenty four hours a day minus your eight hours of work. Minus your four-hour commute back and forth, you got twelve hours left. Mm -hmm. So as soon as you hit home, you can't exercise. You can't do anything. You just got to keep YouTube on. Yeah. You've got twelve hours remaining. That's a channel. Oh wait, right? no, no, wait, wait. That's twelve hours remaining. Not even counting sleep. So if you get an eight hours of sleep, you got four hours left. <laughs> How does that work? That's one person, right? You're basing it on one person. If there's multiple views, that's crazy. Yeah. No, no, wait, oh, wait, 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 no, no, maybe I'm mistaken, wait, wait, wait. Oh, I think I could be wrong. For the, the, the person who wants the monetization has to be watching for 4,000 hours? They have to be watching? No, 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 no. Oh, thank God, there you go. Oh, no. Oh, okay. That's what you thought? How, yeah, how would it like, work like I was that? Like, that's why I was like, what? This no, 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 sense, you bro. need to reach 4,000 oh, hours. Oh, you didn't say that. You said, you said you need, you need 4,000. You didn't say you need to reach, so I was like, you need? Oh, man, you got to. Watch yeah, your hour. channel needs. Oh, okay. How can you okay. assume that? That's why I was like, well, it makes no sense. Oh, you're totally off, man. All right, cool, cool, cool. Thank God. Yeah, I was check like, yourself. Yeah, yeah, that's ridiculous. Oh, wow. We just no, watched. We I, just you just said 10,000 total views. 
You need it on the channel. That's what I said. We just witnessed a stupid moment. Yeah. Not on here. All right, whatever. <laughs> I, mean, well, I was like, uh, yeah, I was, I was, I was like, like, this I, makes that's no what I kept sense. saying. Like, yeah, but that's one person. Yeah. Okay. 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 I got you. I got you. You have to. Get so, so basically, so you need one thousand subs, and you need other people to have watched your video. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. For a total of four thousand hours. Well, yeah. The channel year. total hours. Watch time yeah, spent you. on your channel. There you yeah. go. That makes more sense. Channel total hours. See, I thought you, like when you're like, you need to. I was like, oh, me? no, that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that wouldn't okay. make sense. Yeah, so I was like, I was confused. All right, whatever. Who cares? So, so yeah, those are the things you need to meet. It'll hurt small channels. You know, I think uh, small channels you gotta get another job, or have another Ooh, job on the yeah, side. For sure. Yeah, you can't just. If you're only, I don't think you can even meet the certain requirements if it were a small channel. Wow. To make a living off of anyway. That's true. Right? Even if you have like 200 subs, your channel's done. Yeah, it, you just, yeah, you gotta keep working on it, but also have another job. That's how it is. Yeah, that's true. I, I was watching, this is a good, this Like, a good. I don't think you can even survive just even having 200 subs. It doesn't no, yeah, yeah, no, no, 100%, really yeah, yeah. equate to a certain amount of money or something. Yeah, I got you, I got you. Right? Um, it's funny, though, because, like, um, this, you're alluding to something that they were also talking about Jerry with, um, with the FCC person. And uh, she's saying how um, she's saying how like the future, if there's universal basic income because mm -hmm. of the way like technology is going, and like you're you're getting uh, self-driving cars now, so that's a hunt like that's like thousands of people out of work, and then you lose people at the movie theater, that's more people out of work. Then you get auto checkouts for grocery stores, so that's more people out of work. You're finding more and more unskilled workers out of work. Yeah. Right. So like they're toying around with the idea of universal basic income. Even Elon Musk uh, was saying that he's supporting universal basic income, yeah, right? Um, mm -hmm. And like the reason why is because of just technology, right? So she was saying as well that like in the future, it's gonna be people running, there's gonna be no one job anymore. Right. There will still be, you know, like certain jobs, but like as a majority, people will be contracting multiple things of work. And it's funny because when I heard that, I was like, that's totally my life right now. Like, I don't rely on one thing. Yeah. You know, like, multiple sources. Mm -hmm. Only because of the way technology is. It's like, I couldn't get done everything that I need to do with the 24 hours in a day if I had a full-time job working one job. Right. You know? It's like, how would I accommodate other things? Mm hmm You know? And she's saying, yeah, that's that's the future. I agree with that. I, I could see it happening, you know? Yeah. I know multiple people who are, like, running part-time jobs you know mm -hmm. they have like multiple part-time jobs yeah yeah so yeah futures here stem cells technology universal basic income are you a supporter of universal basic income yeah i think we'd all become creators i think you would have more time to do what you want yeah I, I think that would be a good utopia you know yeah uh where it's like everyone gets like a base minimum like you can afford a car, you can afford your rent, you can afford food, but anything above that, like if you want a Lambo, you gotta mm -hmm. work for it, you know. Yeah, I think that I I Maybe. I truly believe that that is the best way to do it. You'd have a lot of lazy people who just chill at home, which I think is fine. It's like just, you know, like you know. I think it limits. I think it depends on yeah, like where the amount. But then of you basic also have a bunch of people is. who are just gonna keep making babies for no reason. Yeah. Yeah, we become like a factory of like, like a Maybe. like a batteries. You mm -hmm. know, depends on the person. I mean, like, yeah, I could see creatives. So they're saying it's good for creative people to have universal basic, basic income. Or you know, it'd be really cool if they had like a, a thing. So it's like uh, like a, like a threshold. So it's like if you can prove that you're working on something, then you get universal basic income. Yeah, that would make sense to me. It's like if you're being productive in a creative way, mm -hmm. musical way. Yeah. Whatever, whatever. As long as you're producing something, you can have universal basic income. I say that because I wish I had that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think they're doing trials on basic universal basic income. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Where? Already here. I don't know. Somewhere in Canada. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I, I, I'm a big proponent of that. I mean, I guess you could say that's like, uh, that's EI. You know the trick is to have EI, though? Like, if you're a contractor, so I've, I've always been contracting work. I've never had, like a full job job where I'd have to pay into benefits like I'd have to do all, all my own yeah. um, it sucks because like I can't claim EI because I've never really worked for a place mm -hmm. you know what What would you apply for not EI you apply for At the EI before no 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 no, not you me like oh. if you're if you social insurance 
So social welfare. Oh. Would that be what I would apply for? If, oh, if I had nothing. Yeah, welfare. Yeah, welfare. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. Maybe that's the universal basic income in the future. Welfare just becomes universal basic income. Mm-hmm. Everybody, like, everybody's on welfare then. Yeah, hey, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, everyone's on welfare. Technically, yeah. 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 You never know. That could be like uh, the Garden of Eden. I could see a lot of things wrong with that. I think there should definitely be something where it's like you're creating something. Like if you show them a business plan, you get the uh, you get the uh, sort of like um, OSAP. If you're in school, you get money. Yeah. You know, I think that's how it should be. But I don't believe in OSAP. Well, no, it's changed now. I don't believe in it before because it's like you owe that back to the government, which kind of sucks. Mm-hmm. You know. I do know people though in like European countries, um, so they get free education. So if they're uh, if they're in school, they get free money and free. Uh, yeah, yeah, free education. But it's so, covered by your taxes. Yeah, exactly. But I know a bunch of people that are just just doing that. They're just jumping from school program to school program mm-hmm. just because they're getting their living expenses covered. Right. Because it's free. Yeah. That's kind of cool. Yeah. So, uh, all right. What's your was your last stop? Yeah, that was that. No, no, no. You have one more. No. Oh. Do you mean the Zuma? Oh, yeah. Let's, let's talk about that, yo. Come on. No, oh, you can talk about that. All right, fine. Zuma is... Um, well, the update on it, because we talked about it last week. That would have been four topics then. I had two. You had two. So we got to do Zuma now. Uh, all right. All right. All right. All right. All, all, we'll, we'll do Zuma, uh, Zuma assumptions, because we don't actually know what it is. So uh, there's a video out there that says that we've been following that um, talks about what Zuma may or may not be up to. And the now current assumption is that it could be a spy satellite that is um, hidden. Well, I think we assume it to be a, a spy satellite. So the, the two options are it did yeah. break down or it's still working, right? right? And if it's still working, it's a clandestine um, technology. Right. It's like nobody knows it's supposed to be up there. That's why they're like, oh, we uh, we don't. We're like, you should talk to SpaceX regarding those, not us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With that uh, Dana White lady, not the UFC owner mm-hmm. or spokesman. <laughs> Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, there's. I think in that video, it's. You know, like well, it was cool. It was like, is it a. Um, it's a stealth. It could be a stealth. Satellite. Yeah, makes sense. Uh, like to. But see that that made sense. Like, remember when we were discussing this a while back? Like, my that was my first assumption. I was like, no, no, it's definitely up there. They're just using it as a means to like spy on North Korea because of the whole problem. You know? Yeah, no, but that's, of course, those are these uh, assumptions we're making. Of course, that yeah. it could be one of those things. Um, Which makes the most sense. It's like, but, yeah, it's like you can, but it's not like we don't know of their other spy satellites. It's like, why are they hiding that? Maybe this is like ultra new tech. Maybe there's something that, like, it's yeah. like an e, uh, EMP shooter. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So if they notice a missile coming out of North. Uh, this is total speculation. This is really um, this speculation. Is like fantasy. <laughs> if they notice a. Um, a missile coming out of North Korea, they just shoot an EMP down it and disrupt its uh, disrupt its uh, flight capabilities. Yeah, and 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 they were saying that it's uh, it's at like a really um, like high distance away from Earth, something like a th- in that video. I forgot exactly the number since I didn't write it down. I don't <laughs> think we're going to talk about it. Yeah, uh, it's where it has a bigger view. Of their oh, that's cool. Bigger range of the Earth. Right? Okay, yeah, that makes sense. So it has like a wider, like viewpoint. a wider lens, kind wider of thing. lens. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 that's cool. So it, yeah, that's cool. Again, more of it being rec- reconnaissance type of satellite. Yeah, and and what they're saying is uh, they were there's um, and there was a satellite in the past. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. Where point to that up. yeah, nineteen uh, seventy. It is stealth, and it's it was difficult to find out where it is. It's not that easy to find. Yeah, and it was able to take pictures that were up to like they can they can get. I think that was a different things. satellite. They're, oh, okay, they're talking okay. about two different satellites. Yeah. Okay, well the one I was talking about was like uh, the detail of it is like if you take a two meter stick. Um, they had. They were able to. Um, this is back in the seventies. Back in the seventies, yeah. yeah, which back is pretty in impressive. The 70s. God, it's still uh, better than Google. Google Earth, yeah, yeah. Still better than Google Earth. So, like, uh, if they took a photo um, within two meters, you can get detail of. Yeah. But anything smaller than two meters, like, you couldn't really see it. But, like, if you look at Google Earth right now, it's like it, it doesn't even have that capability right no. now. Yeah. So, and, and that was in the 70s. Yeah, so it's like, what technology wow. are they hiding from you right now? <laughs> you know? Well, 
does it have to go through the FCC if it's a if it's like a um, if it's a black ops mission? Mm. You know I, don't, what I, mean? I don't, like maybe they're bypassing regulation for this new tech because they're saying that they don't know where it is. No, I don't think it works like that. This is government, right? This is not. Yeah, but there's to been the a public. But there's a lot of government things that they they can hide regulation for. Uh, I don't know. I don't know the full rules of it all. This is you know. Which goes back to secret societies because. But, like, you may be listening to this and you're like, oh, the government's so bad, blah, blah, blah. But it's like, no, no, the government knows what it's doing. It's been doing it for a while. Like, you just got to trust it's, it's working itself out. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. People in there will figure out who have studied it. People, all right, so it's like, you have 24 hours in a day. How are you spending those 24 hours? Yeah. The people in the government are spending, like, let's say you're spending one hour, four hours. Let's, let's make you a student of the government. Four hours studying the government, okay? Every yeah. single day, watching conspiracy videos, learning about, like, the way businesses operate, all that stuff. But then these people are actually in the government, running countries, dealing with issues for eight, sometimes 12, Mm -hmm. sometimes 15 hours a day, all year round. So it's like, I think I would trust that they've got a better handle of things than I do. Mm -hmm. No matter what conspiracies I think of, because in the end, conspiracies are just things you believe them to be. It wouldn't be a conspiracy if you didn't believe it was a conspiracy. Right. You know? Yeah. Right? It's like, it's like, man, um, the um, the only reason why the Watergate scandal was so bad is because we believed it was bad. But if if they're like, if the Watergate scandal happened, we're like, ah, as a president, you can do whatever he wants, then nobody would have said anything. You know mm. what I'm saying? It's only bad if you think it's bad, is what I'm saying. Ooh. And I trust that it's good. What it's doing? Yeah, what it's doing is good. Oh, like nice. for its benefit. I mean. I like my iPhone. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. So, uh. Um, well, yeah, there's, there's other problems with. Uh, not problems with iPhone, problems with Apple and, I, and the government, right? They can't get into it. Oh, yeah, yeah. They, so, yeah, in see. a way, it's good for us. Yeah, yeah. So, like, for those of you who are wondering, uh, Apple has this uh, thing where, like, they won't create a backdoor for the government. They made it public as well. Yeah. Um, so, that was good. I mean, that's great for their. That's great for their, um, their uh, stock prices, because people are like, oh, I trust Apple right. more now. And their PR. Yeah. yeah, their PR, yeah, exactly, exactly. So I guess we can uh, sum everything up as being uh, a figment of your own imagination. Sure, everything's an illusion. That's, that's really what it is. <laughs> it's only whatever you believe it to be. Yeah, uh, what do you believe it to be? Is the Bible real? If you believe it to be. Is that spy satellite still up there? If you believe it to be. <laughs> until you're proven wrong. Until, until you have facts. But even if you have facts, it's still what you believe. <laughs> so until next time, believe in the right things. Yeah. Take it easy. See ya. Bye-bye.